Welcome to the NRL Punters Weekly Digest NRL News Edition for Round 2 2021. I'm your host, Ben Hetherington. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do the subscribe thing and turn on your notifications so you can stay in the loop of all my latest videos. Also, if you like this video, give me a like. I appreciate your support and it's going to help elevate me into the YouTube stratosphere so as many people can get the message as possible. I kind of lost myself there. I was going on a trail of thought. But the point is, please like the content. And if you're on Twitter and you want to follow my rugby league musings, you can find me at NRL Punters WD. And if you'd like to listen to the full version of this podcast, you can find me on your favorite podcast platform at NRL Punters Weekly Digest. Let's get into the week that was in rugby league. First up with Sonny Bill Williams, SBW, champion of our game, also a champion of rugby union, and possibly a champion of boxing at some point. Who knows? He's announced his retirement from both codes. After an illustrious career, he was capped 12 times for the Kiwis, 58 times for the All Blacks, won two World Cups with the All Blacks, premierships, all the rest of it. An absolute champion of our game, and we wish him the best in his future endeavors. Love you, SBW. Joseph Suwali, the youngster that's been causing massive headlines, you know, from last season, really, and all through the offseason. He got his exemption to play before his 18th birthday, which is welcome news, not obviously just for the Sydney Roosters, but for the wider rugby league community. There's a lot of concerns over, you know, is he too young to play? You know, do we need to take into consideration a growing body? You know, there's a duty of care for, for future years for this kid. But look, you look at the long list of NRL legends that played before their 18th birthday. Here's just to name a few. Brad Fittler, Andrew Eddingshausen, E.T., Laurie Daly, Justin Hodges, Israel Folau, Jason Taumalolo. They all turned out fine. So I wish him the best and can't wait to see him on the field. It's going to be interesting. Sam Burgess, big Sammy. We love Sammy. Another legend of our game. Uh, he's launched an appeal after being found guilty of intimidating his father-in-law following that incident um, from back in October 2019. This thing just seems to, to be going from bad to worse. It's really drugged, it dragged everyone's names through the mud. And it's, and it's clear that, that maybe... Burjo's life is a little bit off the rails at the moment because uh, earlier this month he failed a roadside drug test. He was found with cocaine in his system. Now, I'm not condoning the use of class A drug drugs, but I'm not going to begrudge him for that. Um, we really just hope that um, Sam Burgess can get his life back on course because we love him and he's an absolute... Um, He's a, I don't know, he's an adornment to our game. You know, he's something you put on the mantelpiece and go, that's a Sam Burgess right there. You hang him up on your wall, that's a Sam Burgess. So, yeah, hopefully he gets things back on track for himself and his family. Des Hasler. So, a bit of a contract saga happening at Manly with Des Hasler. He wants a two-year contract extension. It looks like Manly may only give him one and according to sources in the loop and obviously just speculating parties, i.e. journos, the reason that Manly only want to offer him one year is so they don't have to pay him out massively if they decide they want to part ways with him early. And obviously that's going to hinge on the Seagulls' performance moving forward this season. So that'll be an interesting one to watch. Sydney Roosters are proceeding with extreme caution where the health of their captain, Jake Friend, is concerned. Obviously, this is relating to his latest concussion. Roosters have got a track history of, of being on the, on the ball when it comes to managing head injuries. We've seen that with Boyd Cordner and Luke Keary. Boyd Cordner is not playing most of this season just to give him an opportunity to be as right as he can possibly be. Um, so that's going to be another one to watch. We don't know how long Jake Friend is going to be out for. And that's it for the NRL News Edition for Round 2 Season 2021. I'll see you next week.